Hello and welcome to the program. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has confirmed that Ukraine has agreed to embed the so-called Steinmeier formula in its legislation. Now, while the President and representatives of his party insist that local elections on the temporarily occupied territories should be held in accordance with Ukrainian law after the withdrawal of Russian troops and the restoration of Ukraine's territorial integrity. Now, the opposition claims there are no guarantee that Russia and pro-Russian militants will agree to this. To discuss all pros and cons of the Steinmeier formula, we're joined in the studio today by Olna Snigir. She's an analyst at the National Institute for Strategic Research. Hello and thank you for joining us. Hello. So first, um, first question is kind of a controversial formula here. So some people say that the so-called Steinmeier formula is a, is a surrender, while others say that it means it could mean uh, the, the, the end of the war. What's, what's your opinion on that and what awaits Ukraine? Uh, on, and what's your opinion on this on these two parts? Okay, it's, it's definitely not the end of the conflict because to end the conflict you need a bilateral approach from both sides of the conflict. Now we, nowadays we see the very uh, uh, this, uh, like that uh, the president Zelensky is uh, much uh, uh, he's he's willing very much for and he's. Uh, uh, he's really for peace, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, he's he's looking for peace. He's searching for peace, but but on the other side, Mom Kremlin uh, is interested in continue, continue continuation of this conflict. So it's uh, uh, the the last the main goal of Kremlin is uh, the federalization of Ukraine, basically, and uh, uh, taking Ukraine back on its influence through mm -hmm. this through its political weakness so uh, and this kind of uh, political process uh, well, well this kind of Stan for formula in Kremlin's interpretation is the way to this uh, to this uh, uh, process so um, now uh, Stan so-called Stan formula Stan formula is uh, the empty box where every every part is putting its own context. Um, the, the main danger for Ukraine is that uh, uh, President Zelensky, or not President Zelensky, that um, uh, Leonid Kuchma mm -hmm. uh, signed the letter, yes, mm -hmm. signed the letter, where there are two laws are mentioned. Uh, uh, special on the status of the occupied territories, mm -hmm. this temporary uh, status, and the new, the other law, the new law, which is not uh, adopted yet, but which is mentioned already there, the special law on the uh, election process on mm -hmm. the on these occupied territories. So we, we, we have no idea w what does it mean and what kind of uh, this special law will be. Uh, it is definitely be in the Ukrainian legislative uh, uh, area sphere, so it will be Ukrainian law, and that that is the danger. Mm -hmm. Now uh, it is indeed a, a polarizing um, pol polar polarizing sorry law or process. I suggest now we listen to um, some MPs from um, from the Ukrainian Parliament, MPs from the Seventh of the People Party, and from from Polos and European okay. uh, uh, Solidarity Party. This is a prerequisite demanded by Russia in order to hold a normative format summit. This is their prerequisite for the future dialogue between the presidents, which should finally bring peace. And peace is the ultimate goal of President Zelensky and our party. In order to start this process, we had to fulfill this condition. And we are in hurry, because every day we receive news about killed Ukrainians. We cannot wait. We want negotiations. We do not know all the details of this document. Some points are classified, and what we hear from President Zelensky and his MPs is in fact a move toward President Putin, who said that these were his precondition to return to the Normandy format. Steinmeier's formula was devised in the Kremlin. It serves Russia's interests. And no matter how anyone tries to persuade us otherwise, as of yesterday this formula is a part of the whole process after we announced to the world that Ukraine has signed it. So, um, as we saw, it's, it is indeed polarizing, but this idea of, of a prerequisite is interesting, I think, because it kind of shows that Ukraine is making a concession here, uh, that the Kremlin 
and the Kremlin didn't move at all. They didn't have to move it, at all here. Incentive, mm -hmm. kind of incentive to Putin. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's really a hard question because should Ukraine do it or not? Um, Today we have uh, a unique situation. Uh, we we have seen during the last two years that mm. any negotiation, uh, any negotiation process, any uh, dynamic was blocked by Kremlin, and it was principal position of uh, President Putin to uh, not to have any progress, not to have any talks with uh, uh, with Kiev mm. until. Uh, there are new faces, there are new politicians in Kyiv. Okay, today we have new president, new, polit new Verkhovna Rada, new Ukrainian parliament, uh, and Moscow is like, uh, is, is ready, is showing its uh, will also to have uh, some negotiations. And here we have a very interesting situation. On the one hand, we have such a positive dynamic of negotiation process. Yes, there is conflict. Con mm -hmm. There is no peace in, in the east of Ukraine. Yeah, still there are still it. shellings, mm -hmm. shootings, and people that are being killed. Uh, but on the other hand, we have this dynamic of negotiations and we have this uh, exchange of prisoners. And uh, this is positive moment, and uh, Kyiv is definitely um, interested uh, to use this uh, this dynamic as uh, much as it is possible. Mm -hmm. And Kyiv is also in a hurry uh, to or organize this um, meeting, Normandy meeting, uh, not to lose, not to uh, like, not to lose this dynamic, and to take as much from Moscow as it is possible. But here we have to be also very careful because this uh, this kind of uh, in uh, this kind of movement of mm -hmm. very fast movement can can be a kind of trap for Kiev also. So we can uh, we can uh, cross some mm -hmm. our red lines here. So we have to think with what agenda we uh, will come to the Normandy meeting. What uh, uh, what uh, our demands will be uh, put on the table mm -hmm. there. Uh, what will be the agenda of, of our negotiations with the German, with Germany, and with France and with Russia? And uh, um, this is this will be our clear roadmap because this uh, uh, Steinmeier's formula is not a roadmap. It is just a small part taken out of the context. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the main, the main and the very important. Um, part will be to to have very clear vision of our interests and of our demands and of our red lines uh, for this Normandy format negotiations. And there will be the main battle. Now, you're basically saying that it's better in any case scenario to keep that dynamic, to keep to, to, to have use, to, 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 to use, use to try it. to yes, use this, yes. this dynamic, which is uh, this window that's of opportunity. Yes, yes. Uh, but what would be the cost of, of that? Yes, this is a very uh, good question because uh, I have no illusion, mm -hmm. illusions, and uh, I um, I'm pessimist about this. Well, I'm really I'm realist about <laughs> this uh, uh, all this story, uh, and uh, I believe that some when uh, we will uh, face. Um, like that total deadlock with Moscow again. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, deadlock will be uh, at the verge of our sovereignty loss. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, when, we, when there will be live real, real capitulation and you and the, maybe some politicians who would, who would even uh, like to, it to happen, then uh, they they wouldn't be able to hide it and, uh, uh, after behind the very nice uh, diplomatic and political mm -hmm. rhetoric of peace. Um, so uh, this process today, uh, the process of uh, of conflict between Ukraine and Russia, and of this process regulation, mm -hmm. peacekeeping, re peace, peace regulation on on the east of Ukraine is the matter of internal Ukrainian conflict. And it is very dangerous today. So uh, this can, uh, should be also a matter of uh, a very deep and large uh, social discussion. And uh, we do not need any uh, negotiations in Normandy format. Um, 
just to have it, to have mm -hmm. them, just to to uh, to have them as a symbol, because. Which yeah. was really exactly on this, this idea that it does influence internal, um, <clears throat> internal policy. How will certain nationalist group, a uh, certain battalion or something like that, will, will see? And uh, can it be used, like, if they see it as a capitulation, can it be used against, uh, against you know, pr President Zelensky? Because he wants to deliver peace, but in the meantime, uh, it, how, how counterproductive can it be? That's, 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 it can, 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 it fuel, very, can it fuel that kind yeah, of Yeah, of, yeah, it of can things? be very counterproductive. Uh, just remember 2013, 2014. Mm. Uh, it was just the association agreement with the EU. And today, if you, if you take the Ukrainian society today, uh, where there are a lot of veterans and people who can use uh, mm. weapon, who know how to use it, and uh, uh, the, there is quite a big danger of, uh, it's, to my opinion, of internal conflict. So the political establishment of Ukraine has to be very careful about this. And, and uh, yesterday, it's also my personal opinion, but I, I heard this uh, uh, opinion also from other people, that yesterday uh, the political communication from the president, presidential party was mm -hmm. to, the total loss. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was very bad. I mean, it was very bad for, for the Ukrainian society. We have seen the results yesterday. So it will be harder and harder because uh, the, the uh, compromises will be tougher and tougher. And we have, be, we have, again, I will repeat, we have to be very careful on this way of uh, negotiation process. And we have to be also very careful in our communication with the society. And we, it's better to have open discussion with the society, not to provoke any conflicts inside the society. But I, will, uh, I also want to, to, to say to, a few words about this. Uh, you mentioned nationalistic battalions mm -hmm. or, or some groups. Um, it is uh, vitally known that these uh, groups are controlled by uh, certain politicians. Mm -hmm. So I do not believe in their fair uh, protest. I really yeah. believe that they're, they're being used. And uh, uh, I also believe and I also see that the Ukrainian society uh, also understand this. So mm -hmm. they are not accepted by uh, the, demonstra the, the uh, demonstrators, the, the protesters who... Um, who 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 organize who are organized spontaneously? I mean, uh, there is no coordination between uh, people who really protest to, to this uh, some mm -hmm. certain ununderstandable movements of uh, our politicians and and these groups of. Uh, uh, yeah, like marginalized, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mar marginalized. They are marginalized. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they, 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 uh, yes, they are very good. They are being very good organized. They are organized very good, and they have money, but they are marginalized. Now, uh, <clears throat> that's about the presidential uh, communication. That's what's happening in Kiev. Now, I just want to focus on a tiny detail, which is not a tiny detail actually, because devil's in it is, is in the details. Uh, this idea of local elections. How realistically can local election happen in territories at first, where first OSC cannot go and cannot monitor anything, uh, and where after five years of conflict, obviously people won't be necessarily able to, to you know, have a proper view, and plus the Russian propaganda which is happening there uh, on, on, on what's happening in Ukraine. What's your take on that? You're very right in this context uh, uh, that uh, our previous uh, uh, position, political position, uh, which was also achieved during previous meeting in Normandy format, that the security part is first before political part, and that uh, uh, the elections they they are, they demand uh, uh, normal political atmosphere, uh, they demand peace and security, and uh, also uh, there was al also even agreed that there should be certain transit period of time between mm -hmm. uh, uh, the the withdrawal of troops and uh, the Ukrainian uh, control of of the border. And, and the elections so that people so, so that uh, uh, the people's 
um, feel themselves insecure, free, free mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. and and those who want to come back, they can come back, mm -hmm. and uh, local administrations can work in in normal way, and there will be no fear and no no threat. So it's it's normal, like mm -hmm. few probably few years of transitional period, because we can we can actually imagine uh, how. Uh, uh, what changes are in society uh, conscious mm -hmm. um, happened during these five years? Uh, wh what, uh, who are those people who are probably living there? I mean, not locals, but maybe some people who came there and during, got yes, passports, mm -hmm. and we don't know them. So th this, pe this is very, uh, very uh, difficult process. And this process needs time. So this was uh, agreed. And today we see that uh, uh, we have this kind of uh, uh, piece of uh, Stanmeier's formula, and uh, um, uh, it's it's uh, just just a small part of this whole mosaic. But we have no idea how this uh, plan will be uh, implemented, mm -hmm. and uh, this is very important. I mean, the elections cannot happen on the territory. Uh, on the insecure territory, if unless unless if uh, Ukrainian uh, Rada or Ukrainian mm -hmm. Parliament adopts a special law, which will allow this to happen, but this will be the catastrophe. Really, this will, this will be a this, this will, will be, be a real, real this will be re real yeah. catastrophe, and this will be the real capitulation, and this will be. Uh, I think mm -hmm. that will be the crime. Now to to conclude this uh, this interview, um, so there are these talks about this 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 Stanmayer formula, but it's uh, in um, in the implementation of the Minsk agreement and also uh, the Normandy format. What's next? Just uh, as a what's next for for the Normandy format? What's what's going to be the next meeting? What's what can we expect now? What we see, what is the main goal, uh, the main declared goal of uh, the President Zelensky is. Um, freedom of Ukrainian prisoners on, uh, on the Russian territory and on the occupied territories. So probably he will try, he will do his best to achieve this goal to show that uh, that people, he, 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 to show that he is able to bring people back. And this is very, this is very good. Uh, and uh, I, I wish that this all happens. Um, uh, and we will also see the, the very tough negotiations on the details of uh, of the, this process, and uh, we will also see the um, pressure from Russia to put uh, to put at one table Kiev and uh, so-called. The separatist uh, leader. Yeah, mm -hmm. the separatist leaders as the sides of the conflict, parties mm -hmm. of the conflict. This is unacceptable. This cannot be, cannot happen under any conditions because in this way we will lose all our uh, achievements uh, of uh, previous five years, mm -hmm. and we will, we will, we will have political losses, uh, strong political losses in future. So. Uh, so what what I said probably we will see the, the uh, that our people some of our in prison in uh, in prison people will be freed. Uh, then we will see the strong pressure of Russia, and we will see very tough negotiations on the details of details mm -hmm. of, of of all this uh, uh, process of uh, conflict regulation. Well, thank you very much for this interview. It was a pleasure to have you in the studio today to talk about the uh, Steinmeier formula and also its uh, consequences. That was Alina Snigel, she's an analyst at the National Institute for Strategic Studies. Thank you for watching the program and stay tuned for the rest. Yeah.